The U.S. is planning to provide Ukraine with cluster munitions to help it in the war with Russia, U.S. officials told Reuters on Thursday. The move, if confirmed, would provide a powerful new element to Kiev's counteroffensive. But it has already drawn opposition from human rights groups who say the weapon kills indiscriminately. The White House said sending cluster munitions to Ukraine is, quote, under active consideration, but it had no announcement to make. President Joe Biden is due to attend a NATO summit in Lithuania next week, with a conflict likely to dominate discussions. Ahead of the gathering, Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, has been drumming up support for his country's bid to become a member of the Defense Alliance. He used a trip to the Czech Republic on Thursday to urge NATO countries to stand up to Russia. Some people still look back at Moscow. Some people are afraid of Russia. Although I believe that this is a great moment, a great chance to show the courage of the entire alliance and the strength of the alliance, but nevertheless, we are talking about a clear signal, some concrete things in the direction of an invitation. We need this motivation. We need honesty in our relations. Zelensky's plea received support from Czech President Patel Pafel. Here it should be made absolutely clear that it is in the interest of the Czech Republic that Ukraine, as soon as the war is over, should start negotiations on joining NATO, because it is also in the interest of our security, regional stability and economic prosperity. Ukraine wants to join NATO as quickly as possible, but member states have been divided over how fast that step should be taken. Some are worried the move will take the alliance closer to an active war with Russia. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian city of Lviv remains devastated after a Russian missile hit a residential building there, killing at least seven people. Officials said much of the rubble left by Thursday's attack had been cleared. Since Russia's invasion in February last year, thousands have fled to Lviv, a city far from the front lines. Ukrainian officials slammed the attack, while Moscow claimed it targeted troop bases, not civilians.